the Infantile House Miniatures. This is a review video of some of the new Citadel texture paints from Games Workshop. I bought Martian Iron Crust, Sterling Battlemire, Armageddon Dunes, um, and they're also released uh, Valhallen Blizzard, Astro Granite Debris, Armageddon Dust, and Agrellan Badland. And I will do a review video of those when I get them in the post. So I've done a comparison of the pre existing Martian Iron Earth, Sterling Mud, and Agrellan Earth. Um, they're the, old, you know, the pre existing texture paints. Um, so you can see them side by side too. They're 25mm round bases with texture applied directly to them without paint or primer. So, first up, Martian Iron Crust. This is one of the new ones. Let's get it to focus on there. There you go. So, again, it's uh, it's not the neatest thing you've ever seen, but there you go. So, it's a lot thicker than Martian Iron Earth. Uh, it's got a thick grainy consistency which dries in a somewhat a somewhat similar cracked pattern. So here's the Martian Iron Earth. So obviously it's that nice uh, cracked effect. So on the left, uh, these bigger pieces just there, um, where it was the thickest paint, they be just began to crack. So I believe they were cracking in a similar sort of way to Martian Iron Earth. Um, if you got them a little bit thicker, uh, and of course these two are exactly the same colour. So you could, you know, do a combination of both on one base. Uh, so next, Stirland Battlemire, and I've also done Stirland Mud. So there you go, get to focus in. So as you can see, the Battlemire is much thicker. Uh, it's bigger grains and more of them. You probably wouldn't mix these together, but they are the same colour, uh, really dark brown. Just in case you did. Um, both could be used to sort of add variation to a simple and very quick mud based scheme or as well uh, part of a 3D weathering effect for tanks and vehicles uh, still in mud for example uh, streaked up the side of a tank or the front of a tank with all the grains on it looks awesome um, as like a 3D weathering but yeah uh, super easy to do as well uh, and this one as well it dried rock solid really sturdy so um, really easy to dry brush over the top um, and like a bone colour over both of these in a tuft and pretty much good so um, so this is Armageddon Dunes, one of the, the new ones um, and I didn't, I don't have any of the others so I just did up basically an Agrellan Earth just so you can see They're, they are slightly different and they did release Agrellan Badland which is another one of the new ones that's this colour sort of thing but just to show you just as a comparison So again, a grail on earth, that awesome cracked pan. Uh, I've, ne I've never done it, but it'd be interesting to add paint, or like add pigment to that colour to the grail on earth, um, and then see if it still sets in the same sort of a way. Yeah, but as you can see again, Armageddon Dunes, similar to uh, Sterling Battlemire and Martian Iron Crust. Very, very thick. Um, big, solid, grainy pieces. You can see from the side, it's, you know, like a millimetre, a couple of millimetres off the base, and it's rock solid. So again, it's really easy to dry brush over. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think it'd do the cracked effect. I don't think, you know, like the uh, Martian Iron Crust one. I don't think it'd do that if you put enough on. But certainly this and Sterling Battlemire definitely do. So overall, there's basically a full colour range of quick and easy but very effective basing options at a pretty decent price. The effects of the new texture paints look like you've glued that thing where you know you glue the sand down to a base before you prime it. So it's that, but just much, much quicker. Um, mine dried solidly within a few hours and we're ready to dry brush you could just add tuft or patch of grasses uh, and really quickly have a decent looking base you can only buy them in the large parts for 4 55 or 3 or something from the independent retailers if it's 20% off like Element Games or something uh, but one of these pots will last you just ages depending on how thick you use it obviously uh, I bought one of the texture spreaders from Games Workshop and I didn't like it at all it was best to use just an old brush, like an old dry brush or an old uh, base brush and just accept the fact you're going to damage the bristles. I think I could genuinely see myself using all of these paints at some point and it's not very often I say that. And then the only negative that I can really think um, is if you got the effect and for some reason didn't like it, then you've spent almost a fiver. But that's really searching for it, um, for something negative to say because it's only a few quid. So that's it. Anyway, I really like them, and I'll be doing a follow-up video when I get the uh, new ones. 
So you can find my commission painting page at facebook.com forward slash powerhouse miniatures and thousands of pictures on there for you to look through. And that's it. Cheers for watching.